Hi, Eddie Martinez with Keller Williams Realty. Today I'm going to talk to you about doing an effective open house. The first thing you want to do is do your research, find an open house that works for you. Uh, you want to schedule it around your work schedule. So I've done open houses throughout the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and even Saturdays and Sundays. So schedule it around uh, early releases at school, I mean, early releases at church, you know, that type of stuff. So do your research and find out a price point where you want to work, what area you want, you want to work, and then go do your open house there. The next thing you want to do is do your research. You want to take a look at your price points uh, for your house. Uh, you want to visit um, other houses that are for sale and what's sold uh, around your open house. That way you become an area expert when people come through your house and ask you what that house sold for down the street. And you sound like an area expert when they when you have knowledge or you've seen that house and you can describe that house to a T. The next thing you want to do is uh, place uh, your sign strategy. Um, I put out 15 to 20 signs out uh, at any given open house. Uh, the more the merrier. It's free advertising. Uh, the furthest I've gone out is three miles from my open house. So. Uh, uh, put your signs accordingly uh, and check with city ordinances because some of them uh, have certain restrictions on where you can place signs. Uh, the next thing you want to do is after you set up your, your open house, you put the signs out, you want to get the word out. You want to door knock uh, for open houses. You can door knock a, hundred, a minimum of 100 houses. Um, I just put a flyer together when the, the, when the open house is going to be, what times, the address, and on the back of it I have the MLS sheet so it's double sided. And then I door knock and invite neighbors to the open house. Um, and every time I've door knocked, I have always had neighbors come to the open house. And you can also get a list of renters in the neighborhood and go specifically go invite the neighbors to your open house because eventually they're going to buy too. The next thing you can do is um, you definitely leverage the internet. Um, I put all my open houses on Facebook. Um, you can put it on Craigslist, uh, the MLS open house, the intranet open house. So get the word out. Uh, invite your database. It's a good way to touch your database. So invite your database to your open house and uh, get, the, get the word out. The day of the open house, uh, you can either get a register from your title company uh, to have guests uh, register. What I've done is I created uh, just, a, just a, the, a sheet basically. And my spiel is uh, somebody knocks on the the door, I welcome them, I give them information on the property, and then on the, I flip this over and it has information so we can give feedback to the owner. So it gives good information and the bottom of it is my, uh, my register basically. So um, definitely have houses for sale that are uh, two story, single story, that way you give them options of houses for sale. Um, and that way if they're not interested in your house, uh, you can sell them another house. You're looking for buyers sellers, investors, nosy neighbors, um, and you're looking for open houses as a part of lead generation and you're looking for, um, for an appointment. So convert them to an appointment and go close the deal. Thank you and good luck.